I think I've literally just found the best method in the game. I've been doing this for months and it's been making me a million coins and I'm sure a few other content creators have been doing it, but today I think it's time to spread the word. So what you're wanna gonna do is you're literally just gonna go over to the store, then you're gonna wanna go over to select offers and you're gonna scroll all the way over. Now this is the only coin pack that is really worth your coins. There's one other one, but this is the not, that's not the point of the day's video. Today's video is going to be this 15 plus get a go bundle that I have exactly what you should do with every single overall. But to maximize your profit on this, you're going to want to go ahead and buy this three times. And remember, make sure you are following the steps of everything I do in this video, because if you don't, and you do miss out on a step, or if you skip through the video and don't see a step, you're probably going to screw up and you're not going to be able to make coins. So when you do go ahead and buy three of those bundles, it's going to cost you about 108,000 coins with 36,000 times three. Now I want to break down one thing. You cost it costs 36,000 coins each time you buy that and you're going to go to get 16 cards. So that costs about 2.2 thousand each card and that's all we got to make back on each of these. And of course some of these will be bigger overalls as some people in the Discord have pulled 98s even from this. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open all 48 of my packs. After I get done opening them, I'll show you what to do with every single overall and much much more but while we are opening these i'm not going to show you every pack because of course that would take way too long but i will show you some packs and we're going to go ahead and start it off with a 74 not the best but not the worst but at the end of the video i am going to go ahead and show you this screenshot and it's basically just a screenshot of every single overall and what you should do with every single overall as you're going to get an 84 but make sure you stay tuned for that because if you don't have that it's going to be really hard for you to remember all of these different steps without having to look through the video constantly and no one wants to sit look through a video and then 10 minutes later, they forget and look through it again. So make sure you stick to the end to see that. As we're getting three at least in a row, an 84, an 83, and an 85, not bad at all. But like I am said, I'm just gonna go ahead and rip through these and I'll see you at the end or when I pull something pretty good. Now I do wanna point out while I'm opening these, just because you pull a 70 or a 75 does not mean you're losing profit. There are certain sets that you can put that 75 into or that 73 into that will make you tons of coins. I do wanna guarantee you though, when you do this coin method at certain times, this is basically risk-free and there's basically no way to lose. And J Money Good, if you haven't already, check him out. He actually did a different experimented way with this. And what he did was actually make free Easter eggs out of these. He was just making the small egg set and literally just making the making them. And then, you know, every once in a while, he'd get a medium, he'd get a large, and he was basically making eggs for free. But his way of doing that was a little bit more riskier than mine and in this video. Mine, no matter what, you're going to break even. And at minimum, you're going to make a few thousand coins. As we're going to get a team of the week, that's going to be a 92. I didn't think that would be much, but hey, a 92 overall is literally 60,000 coins. That is making back half of what I've already spent, that's how you're gonna make so much profit from these. As we're gonna get an Easter, this is gonna be our 82 plus, I think that was an 84, and we're on our last 82 plus, and it's gonna go to be an elite, it's not gonna be anything crazy. So anyway, we went ahead and opened all of our packs, and we're gonna see what we went ahead and got, see what profit we can make from just selling some cards, and then we're gonna start with our exchange set, and I wanna go ahead and start with anything that is a 78 overall, 79 overall, 80 plus, you're just gonna sell in the auction house. None of those are gonna be used, just sell them all. So remember, we spent 108,000 coins and this is gonna be 60,000, so already half of what we spent. And I'm gonna be completely transparent with you. My, my gold bundles were not that good. I have went a single bundle where I just opened one, 15 players and got like four or five dynies. And in this one, I only had 190 plus, which was this 92. Another really good notable card that we can go ahead and say, we did pull this 89 Michael Pittman that's gonna go for about 15,000 coins. So right there, we already have 75,000 coins that we've made back. All we need to make back from here on is 33,000 coins, which we 100% made. Through our packs, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13 different elites that we're going to at least be able to sell for maybe let's say 4,000 coins average. And if we can all sell those for an average of 4,000 coins, we're going to be able to get 52,000. And remember, all we needed to make back from our other pulls was just 33,000. So we've already made coins. So now all the cards we got from here on are just free cards, which we're going to go ahead and start with what we should do with 70s, 71s, 72s, and 73s. Now these are the worst overalls. They're really something you don't want to pull. But if you do, it's going to be hard to get them off of your hands, but you can't. As this card, there's not one up on the auction house. Imagine it's for a good theme team. You can go ahead and put it up for four to 5,000 coins and hey, it might sell. Hey, it might not sell. As you can see in the last 20 hours, it's really only sold for 2,000 coins. So this is not one that is worth putting up. And honestly, if you have these cards that aren't worth putting up, you can quickly just get rid of them by quick selling them. It's not, it's not great but you just don't want them sitting in your binder just sitting there. But I do want to mention, before you get all bummed out that you pulled a ton of 70s, 71s, 72s, and 73s, 
Some of these will go for a lot of coins. I know at one point this Shane was going for a lot because it was on the Chiefs theme team. And as you can see, it's actually selling for 5,000 coins per current. Now that we've got that overall out of the way, let's go ahead and look at 74s and 75. For the 74s and 75s, as you can see, there's alternative offensive playbook, defensive playbook fantasy pack, offensive playbook fantasy pack, alternative defensive playbook pack, and there's going to be this coach fantasy pack. You can basically put your 74s or 75s in all one, two, three, four, five of those packs, all five of those packs you can put those into. And basically just find the most expensive one and just sell it. Your 74s, you know, they cost a few thousand coins. You can even just be sniping 74s and put them in there to make some coins. But that is the best place for your 74s and 75s to go into. Now for your 76s and 77s, which is really the most important gold other than 78 and 79. And you're going to be putting them into the 78 overall most feared exchange set. Basically, 78s and 79s go for a lot because comp pass refreshes. And actually, yesterday was when it refreshed. So... These are going to be going for a lot. You also do need a 74, so maybe keep some a few 74s for this. But to put in your two 76s, put in your 74, it's going to cost like 2,000 coins. 78s and 79s go around 5,000 coins every time the comp pass does reset, along with 80 to 81. So 78, 79s, 80s, and 81s are all really good cards to be pulling from the gold bundle. And then again, remember, 78, 79s, 80s, 81s, and everything above that, you're just going to be selling off on the auction. If this did help you, I'd appreciate it if you did subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.